<coughs> uh, yep, great first thing to say when you hit record. Um, yeah, so I'm back for New York 4. Wow, I'm back from New York Comic Con, Jesus Christ, which is why my voice is extra bassy. Hello. Um, so, yeah, so I've been gone for like five days, and so I'm catching up to a lot of the horror shit that's like slowly coming out because it's spooky season. And today is Hellraiser 2022, all that stuff. Now, I, I'm fine with this movie. Um, uh, of course, you know, I'm going to go into spoilers later. I'm fine with this. Um, I'm not mad at it at all. Like, I'm not like Texas Chainsaw Massacre, that one, mad. Um, I I'm kind of like in the same boat, kind of, as like the new Scream where it's like, sure, you know, like, sure. Whereas, you know, the, the, the new Scream, obviously, duh, references a lot of the old stuff. This one does, too, kind of, but also it, it kind of, like, it, it does a little bit better than the Scream one, where it kind of makes this its own thing. Um, so it's, like, not really, like, it's like a remake and not really, like, a reimagining, but it's just kind of, like, it's its own thing, and it's totally fine. And really, if you've seen all the Hellraiser movies, you know, this is one of the good ones. And it sadly, like, that's not really a good thing because it's like one, two, three, high, and then that's like, uh, you know, like, uh, and then there's, there's like the one with like Henry Cavill in it, and then like. Then the later ones where it was like direct to video and what's his name Doug is like not pinhead anymore and he looks like like great value you know pinhead and and then like what was like the, the last one with judgment or whatever whichever one ends with like a random drone shot because that makes you think of Hellraiser is drone shots of a city um, so yeah I'm, I'm gonna talk more about um, that well I guess. Uh, it's not really spoilers, but uh, a lot of practical effects with the the Cenobites and all that stuff, so that's good. Um, of course, there's elements of CG, but it's like, uh, you know, like with, with a, the Hellraiser movie, you know, it's either going to be like CG or, you know, at the end of the first Hellraiser movie where it was like, the color lightning, ka-chunk, ka -chunk with the box, buzz, buzz, and it's like, you know, but anyway, I'm going to go into spoilers because it's kind of like hard to talk about this without... You know, anyway, one, two, three, spoilers. So, I'm going to compare this to, like, the first movie, just because, you know, is what it is. So, um, so, like, the first movie, you know, it's, like, uh, the, the story is more surrounded about, like, a young girl, <clears throat> and then, like, their hoe ass of a mom. <laughs> it was, like, stepmom. God, it's been a while. Um, there's a lot of that where to feed me men, and I was like, okay, girl, yes. Um, this one's about, like, this one, this movie feels a little bit, like, if you took, like, the remake of 13 Ghosts, the one with Matthew Lillard, and you took, uh, the remake of Evil Dead, and, and then threw Cenobites in it, and not in a bad way, because, God, which Hellraiser was it? There was one Hellraiser movie that literally hadn't, like, just, just, they took some script and then threw Cenobites in it, and it was like, sure, you know? I'll just throw that in there. Well, you know. Anyway, um, because it's like about it's about a like a, a young woman who you know is like recovering from drugs, so kind of like their Evil Dead remake. Um, and then I'm saying it's like the Thirteen Ghosts uh, remake because then there's like a house that kind of like you know kind of you know morphs into things and stuff. Um, and so yeah, like. It's fine. <laughs> I don't know how else to talk about this movie. So I think I'm just going to talk more about the Cenobites and really the story itself. Because the story itself isn't, like, good. It's just kind of like, the girl is in recovery and you're supposed to, like, have her side. But, like, she's also really whiny. So I can't really, like, have her back. Whereas in the Evil Dead remake, the girl, you know, like, she's not whiny. And, you know, she, like, things happen to her and she's like, yo, this isn't right. But she doesn't do what, what this girl. She's like, I don't know. It's a lot of that kind of voice. I don't know where we go. And when, when like, uh, like, 
when someone, especially a white woman, hits that level with their voice, I'm just, I check out. You know, I'm just like, ma'am, I, I can't, listen, I need you to just speak words, please. You know, um, so she's in recovery, and then she's, like, with some guy, you know, and, like, she meets a guy in, like, her, her recovery program, you know, and they're like, can't believe you're sleeping with a guy in the recovery program. It's like, what do you want her to do? Do more drugs, you know? And so, yeah, like, that happens. They discover, like, you know, the box, and it's all... The, the, the box, because, you know, it obviously, like, props have gotten better. So, like, you know... It, it 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 does more than just like you know come apart twist and turn kind of stuff it like goes into like different like shapes and like weird like shit going on into like a yeah it, it does a lot more which is a lot more interesting and then like there's more steps to the the box and and, and all that shit so it, it like that part's a little bit more interesting and knowing like oh there's a little you're like what's the lore even though you know like it just you die that's what it is <laughs> so there's a lot of that 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 that's interesting the scent like the centibites themselves look really cool the new pinhead looks fucking awesome even the other like i said the other centibites so instead of like how in the og movies it's like you know some kind of like you know nipples out or you know just some kind of whatever and then like leather vinyl latex kind of bdsm kind of you know, outfits, and like, the whole outfit, it's, like, flesh, and I think that's really cool to go that way, you know, so it's, like, extra, like, crank up the body horror, because it's not just, like, ooh, what's peeking, you know, out of this little hole in my shirt, you know, it's just, like, you know, like, they, they, they redid the chick with the, the, the pussy neck to, instead of just being like this, it's, like, all, it's, like, like all like this she's got like the thing and the flat and the hall they had like what's it called the the gasp or something the one you just hear like <laughs> like that just does that sound and it's just like flesh is just covering its face and at one point it's like trying to get out of like a tight thing and it's like pulling off <laughs> like all just kind of like what the fuck and they kept like the flesh juicy which is a weird way to describe it but it kept it like that whereas when i complained about the cronenberg movie is that there wasn't enough moisture when it came to the body horror you know because everything was like cauterized and it's like where where is the blood where is the the sinew as i said but this one there was like there's sinew there's blood there's blah, blah, blah. there's a lot of that going on which is great um I love the the new pinhead. I, I love I love the, of course even the other ones they they distorted the voices, but because, the the newer pinhead you know is is a woman so there's like the the voice is still like very deep distorted like this but there's still like a slight bit of femininity to it well, kind of like my voice <laughs> I just realized I was like what am I talking about a deep voice that's kind of feminine well hello especially right now. Like doing like Appalachian like fucking throat singing, you know like <laughs> what the fuck am I doing? <laughs> but pretty much that like I thought that was like really interesting to do that. Um, so yeah, so again the the Santa by itself is great. The movie kind of like takes a bit to kind of like get where you want it to go. Um, of course, there's like some stuff here and there in the beginning, kind of like give you a little taste, like okay, some kind of blah blah blah, some kind of freaky, like ooh, is your silhouette? Here's this. Um, but like, I knew from the beginning that the the guy that she met at the the program wasn't a good guy. Well, one, you're sleeping with someone who is also in recovery. That's just literally not smart. Um, and second of all, like. Like, you could tell there's, like, some underlying thing because everyone else is like, I want to help you, I want to help you. And he's just kind of like, you know. Especially there's, like, the part where, like, halfway through the movie, they're like, we got to go to that house. And they get to the house, and everyone's, like, you know, kind of being kind of normal. Like, this is a huge house. What do we do? What the fuck? To then him just kind of being like, kind of like that. And you're just like, hmm. Also, the woman, the woman, the, 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 the main character chick, God, she she really does. She just hits all the marks of annoying white woman stuff. The oh no, 
it with the voice and then goes goes into like a house like a big mansion thing that's pretty much like a cage within a cage with like all that stuff and then just starts like touching things she's like what's this oh this closes this gate this opens that gate and i'm just like bitch you are just touching random stuff like do like what if you like pressed like flicked one of the switches and then like a fucking you know like pendulum comes and like some jigsaw shit happens girl like the fuck you doing um so like the house itself it's like its own you know it's its own box you know because it also has like the 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 architecture you know the designs you know and things move and lower on you know and again i thought the house part was really cool and again like i said it reminds me of the 13 ghosts uh remake because of you know the whole movement of a home and the home being like kind of a machine beside uh, like other than a home kind of stuff um well other than that like i said like i was fine with it i like was worried it was gonna be worse because the other hellraiser movies were just not good like i said one is great two all uh, right three ah uh, you know and then after that it's just like it's like a chore to watch them you know and i've said this um I think during the Chex, the Chex, the Chex's Chainsaw Massacre, yeah, the Texas Chainsaw Massacre review, I, I said where it's like, you know, like, even with like Friday the 13th or whatever, any of these kind of like, these big name, multi, like, seven to eight plus, you know, all the way over there, movies, like, you know, that really like the first two to three are the best. And then, you know, ultimately, sometimes it kind of does this, like, oh, actually, no, this one's good, uh, you know. Um, but most of the time, it's like the first few are good, and then the rest are shit. So, like, you really just got to, like, one, compare it to the original one, duh. And two, by the time you get so far down the sequences of movies, you don't even care for the main characters anymore. Whereas in the first few movies, you're like, oh, shit, are they okay? Kill the killer kind of stuff. Where in the later ones, it's like Final Destination, where you're just like, I don't care about these people anymore. I just want to see how these people die. Again, just like, you know, the like the third Final Destination and on. It's same with like the third Saw and on, you know? Um, yeah, you just don't care about the people. You're just like, watch the thing die. Oh, what is going on here? Getting some curlage here. Um, but yeah, like, so... Watching the people die was interesting. Seeing, like, the fucking hooks get on them and they're like, Wah! or, like, the, the piano wire kind of shit. Wah! Like, that, that stuff was crazy. The way how, like, they get pricked by the, 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 the box and they're just like, the fuck, my, I see there's a thing, you know? This movie does a thing that is very annoying, which is, um, the, the, the whole, huh, what, what did you say? Huh? I don't know a lot of that. So, like, someone would, you know, I get it's in a movie and most of the time dialogue is very clear. But it was just like, someone's like, I think I hear drumming. And the person goes, what? What did you say? I don't know. What did they say? I don't know. It's like back and forth, you know, it's like there's three people in it. But it's like, it's like, <sighs> and they, there's too much of that. And then like, oh my God, the panic driving away from the house part. Just, I was just like, uh, at that point, I was just like. I don't care. Like, I just have them all die. I don't know. We're on the wrong path. It's supposed to be that way. Like, oh, my God. Oh, my God. Just, oh, my God. You know? I was just like, just shut up. All of you die, please. Um, Like I said, this, this movie's all right. It's, like I said, it's better than the Texas Chainsaw Massacre 1. Jesus Christ. Um... Like I said, it's it's about the same level. What did I what did I give Scream? I forgot. Dip it dip it. It feels about like the same vein as like Scream, the obviously the new one. Um, what did I give that one? Oh, same score. Okay, yeah. So I gave it the same score. Yeah, so like I said, same vein as uh, as Scream. Um what else do we what other movies we got going on here? Uh, Halloween Ends comes out this Friday, so I'm gonna watch that, of course. I still need to watch the Munsters one, which is, like, weird to be, like, Rob Zombies doing, like, a whimsical, like, family-friendly movie site. So I don't know how that's gonna be. I'm gonna check that out as soon as I can. 
um, Hocus Pocus 2, Terrifier 2 is finally out, uh, I, I want to check out Smile, that thing looks crazy, but yeah, like I said, um, I'm, I'm alright with this movie, like I said, the, the effects on the Cenobites and the people who played them was great, the, the actual, like, people characters, I really couldn't give a shit about, like, there, there's, like, a degree that I kind of cared about them, and what sucks is, like, the character I actually cared about the most was, like, the brother, and he, like, died off in the first, like, 30 minutes, you know, and then I'm just, like, great, I am d dealing with this fucking drugged out bitch, you know, and it's, like, ah, and then it's, like, here's the friend and the boyfriend of thing and the roommate, and then, like, the guy, and it's, like, ah, you know, I mean, they all did fine, you know, it's just whatever the script told them to do, which was, you know, loudly yell at one another, um, you know, they, they got the note from, uh, Rose Byrne from that knowing movie where you're just screeching, yelling at one another. But anyway, so yeah, that was, oh my god. Whew. So yeah, that was, uh, Hellraiser 2022. Eh, 